All right, welcome back to the Morning Brew. Let's get right to it. I am being joined by the ambassador, to, uh, Haitian ambassador to the United United States, His Excellency Bushi Edmund. Uh, bonjour, Ambassador. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Bonjour. It's a pleasure to be with you this morning. Under such sad circumstances, we first had you on the program last month when we wanted to react to the assassination of Prime Minister Jovenel Moise. Less than a month later, we are now dealing with a devastated hurric devastating hurricane, and Haiti is bracing for the possible arrival of a tropical storm. What is the situation on the ground at the moment? How dire is it? But listen, uh, yesterday the Prime Minister, uh, Henry, and his team, they flew over the affected areas uh, to have a glimpse of the extent of the damages. But the report is uh, really bad uh, to what the, the witness, to what they saw. And, uh, and now the efforts have started to, you know, to search, uh, to rescue, uh, uh, if possible, uh, survivors, and, then, and as well to recuperate the bodies under the rubbles. Uh, it's going to be a great task, uh, but um, you know now we are bracing for grace the 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 tropical storm that should be arriving later today. But we do hope uh, grace will be graceful enough to not to temper those efforts because if heavy winds uh, comes, uh, the search and rescue effort will be uh, very difficult. So. Uh, let, us, let, us, let us hope for the best. All right, so I know the death toll that we had is 724 and possibly rising. Is that still the accurate number? Yes, no. Last night the number was uh, uh, raised to 1,300 deaths. Uh, that, that this is the last report from last, last evening. 1,300 deaths and 5,000 more wounded. Okay, that's deeply upsetting. I know you had tweeted to, um, made a request to the Organization of American States and the Secretary General, Louis Amalgro, for assistance. What has the response been? And, and could you give us confirmation on what the response has also been from the United States and, more importantly, CARICOM? Uh, for, with regards to the Organization of American States, I called on the Secretary General to to uh, start or to put an uh, to implement the or the resolution adopted by the General Assembly on June 7, 1999, on the you know on the on the mechanism of reductions and and uh, assistance after a natural disaster. Uh, we have a meeting this morning at 10 or at 10 o'clock. Uh, we we hope to 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 have some concrete decision so they can uh, bring their own contribution to this thing. Uh, when it comes to the United States, uh, I believe the US, USAID team is already on the ground. They have a search and rescue team from Fairfax, Virginia, that arrived yesterday, last night. And I believe they are, they're going to be assisting uh, the search and rescue operation. And when it comes for CARICOM, uh, we, we are still in, in conversation with uh, our friends and brothers that within the CARICOM, Caribbean community. But uh, we do, we are, we are willing uh, to see uh, how they will, they can, you know, they can help. What is desperately needed at this time? I know, obviously, you need assistance with search and rescue, and of course, um, with medical assistance. But what else is also required? What is the actual situation in Haiti? Because we've been seeing quite a, um, interesting reporting on um, the fact that there's a lot of infrastructural damage. Yeah, uh, not only the search and rescue uh, uh, teams would be good, but at the same time, uh, uh, the infrastructure damages, we can look at them after. But right now, the most important thing is the medical resources uh, to attend or to give to those and needs the one. Because remember, we are talking about the southern part of Haiti. Uh, there are some rural areas in them. The hospital there, they are not big hospitals, and they, they were already overwhelmed, uh, and they're treatment for COVID or vaccination program. But now they have uh, other 
uh, responsibility now to deal with this thing. Uh, I believe that's where uh, we, we, we might have uh, shortages of uh, doctors, of nurses, because they are overwhelmed. Uh, therefore, we still have teams coming from other parts of the country to join them and to bring support and hopefully, uh, you know, uh, in this consideration, we might need as well some assistance and that. Uh, but at the same time, we are doing our best to have a better coordination because we just don't want to repeat the same mistake we did in 2010 when we had the first earthquake. So uh, it's very important now, uh, this international assistance, while we need them, but we want to make sure that they are well coordinated and it's not going to be like it was in 2010 where the country was flooded with NGOs. Everyone didn't know everything what they, want, they could have done. So now we want them to be organized. Yes, um, and of course, just for, I know there was a lot of controversy in 2010 um, with a lot of mistreatment of the Haitian people by the agencies that came in, international agencies that came in claiming to help. How are you all going to, to reverse that error? Because you said you're not, you don't want to repeat the mistakes. What does that actually mean? Well, what it means, uh, particularly the Ministry of Planning, uh, which deals with NGOs, uh, on Friday, they the decided to, to make sure that any NGOs, any international organizations or that want to come in to help, they have to be registered. And there, is, there has to be a process. I understand some people may say that there is urgency, we cannot go through all those administrative things. We understand that. But we, I believe the Ministry of Planning will make it easier, but we have to be and we have to be informed and we have to know and we have to be the one to dispatch you where you should go so that's that's the way i believe i can we can try to avoid repeating the same mistake we we did uh in 2010 because we were overwhelmed in 2010 by those uh, about what occurred and therefore everybody took advantage of that so now we want to be more aware more alert so we can be, we can have a better coordination of those assistance. And what we want at the end is to, for the victims to get attention they need and for the areas to be uh, better reconstructed. And so we can, you know, uh, mitigate the impact of any earthquake. Thank you so much for line. that, Ambassador Edmund. We yeah. really, really appreciate you coming on the program and giving us this very important update. We're definitely going to be touching base with you um, as the situation progresses. Um, and all our best to the people of Haiti. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so very much. Merci beaucoup. It's been a pleasure to be with you. All right. Au revoir. All right. We're going to news and we have more when we come after the newscast.